I love working with alcohol inks and adding mixatives are a great way to add a metallic shimmer. Here I'm comparing Copper Mixative and Mind Alloy. Both are from Ranger. I'm using several different colors of alcohol ink with it, all in kind of an orangey brown tone. And then I'm also blending it with some alcohol ink blender solution. You need to use alcohol ink blender solution with the mixatives and alloys. They go grainy and funny if you use isopropyl alcohol. I'm working on synthetic paper and using an alcohol ink blower tool to blow everything around. This is a great way to blow the inks around. They tend to not be able to be controlled if you don't have something to kind of direct where you want them to go. As I work, I keep adding alcohol ink colors as well as isopropyl alcohol, sometimes mixative or foundry if needed, just where I find that it's needed. When everything is really, really wet, it'll flow and blend really quickly. When it starts to dry, you'll notice that it stops blending as quickly and you have a little bit more control over it. You can just keep working on the same piece until you're happy with the result. I always love the mesmerizing part about working with alcohol inks. They tend to do their own thing and blend in unexpected ways sometimes, but it's part of the fun of it. As you're working, you want to make sure you're working in a well-ventilated area. You don't want to do this in an enclosed space. There are fumes with it, so for some people that might bother them and might want to wear a mask. I don't find it's necessary. I just make sure to open a window. But I love how the mixatives blend with or mix with the alcohol inks, whereas the alloys float to the top and they kind of flake and leak. So while they're both metallics and they're both meant to be added with alcohol inks, you get two completely different looks from them.